Hello, welcome to Mike's Cooking Studio. Good, uh, good evening, uh, Mike's Cooking Studio. I'm Mike. Mr. Good Looking is cooking tonight. I'm not really cooking too much. I'm just starting, uh, I'm making a cheesecake tonight, a peanut butter cheesecake. I've made it before. I'll be utilizing my pressure cooker. So today is Saturday, March 30th, 2024, Easter Eve. But it seems like it changes every year. This is like the earliest I've ever um, celebrated Easter. You know, I mean, I, it gets a little confusing, but not to get into religion, but religion is kind of confusing, uh, to say the least. But anyways, um, so Mr. Good Looking is cooking. The weather is nice, was nice today for the sun was out. It's still like 45, 46. It's supposed to cloud over it later, but eh. so, like I said, it's seven oh eight p.m. Eastern Time uh, here in Falmouth, Mass, on Cape Cod, on the East Coast. For those of you watch out of state in a different time zone, welcome, welcome to all my subscribers, new and old. Can't mention you all. I will mention one. A shout out to. A friend I met at the grocery store yesterday, a stop and shop, her name is Belinda. Thank you, Belinda. You really touched my heart yesterday. Um, you know, she just she just started up a conversation with me, and I don't know, it's like we've known each other for a long time. She really is a kind soul, and uh, I don't want to get in, but thank you for that yesterday. I miss you. I hope to see you again, and uh, thank you very much. Uh, it's been a while, you know, since. So, anyways, having said all that, a shout out to Belinda. So, anyways, here we are. Like I said, I'm making a cheesecake, a peanut butter cheesecake, using my pressure cooker. Now, it's not the first time I've done this one. I did it last year. I think there's a picture of this. Up in my video, it's not really a video, but uh, this the first, this will be the first time I'm videoing the process. So it's a peanut butter cheesecake. It's decadent, and I'll drop in like a yeah, little picture of it uh, here along the way, and uh, I'll drop in a little picture of it here along the way, and uh, and then we'll then you'll uh, see what it's gonna look like. It won't be ready till tomorrow. So right now I'm making the crust for it. Now, what, the way I do it is I make a, I have a pan that came with my six quart slow cooker. It's a cake pan. It's a seven inch diameter. Now I made a, a foil. I made a sling out of foil that easily lifted out. And uh, it came with a cover. And then there's another pan that looks just like this. But it's got it's got holes in it. It's a steam like a steamer, like a steamer rack. And uh, let me turn off for me so I can show you where I'm working down here. You can hear my voice. So so I got a, I got this um I got the pan set up here to make my crust. Now I've done like three or four different cheesecakes, a peppermint cheesecake. I usually utilize the same process. Now the recipe is from. Her name is Meredith Lawrence. She used to work with QVC. Um, she has a cookbook on. I have one of them, uh, Delicious Under Pressure. In the back of the cookbook, there's three cheesecake, cheesecake recipes. A cherry one, I've made, I've made them all. A lemon blueberry is fantastic. There's a couple on her site website that I've made, which I will post the recipe and the link to her website. Uh, this, this is very decadent, this peanut butter cheesecake. Uh, it only takes 22 minutes to come up to, uh, to cook it in the, uh, in the pressure cooker. You know, it takes time for it to build up to the pressure. Then it's a 22-minute countdown. Now, with cheesecakes, you just let the pressure release naturally. You don't do a quick release. And then even after it's, the pressure is released, you keep the you keep it in the pressure cooker for about an hour, and then uh, when you when you take it out, you take the lid off, 
you're going to see some maybe some some water builds up on top. You can just blot it off with a paper towel. Uh, no big deal. Now, like I said, this came with two bet this cake pan, seven inch, and a lid, and a trivet, I, which I'll be putting in the pressure cooker, a silicone trivet, so I can keep this off the floor of the pressure cooker. Now, the other pan has all holes in it. You can use it for a steamer basket, hard boiled egg, put corn in it, some fresh vegetables. Um, you just use it like a pan, put a Stuff you want to keep off the bottom. Um, it's really great. Now, they were add on buys. They don't, need, I don't know if they have a four. I have a three quart. I don't know if this, this won't fit in the three quart, but I don't think they make a for a size that small, these pans. I wish they did. I mean, I'm sure I can find something on Amazon, but I bought these from QVC when they were available. They're not available anymore. And, uh, they had them in a couple of different colors. I had to, I, had, I was lucky enough to get black. So, and uh, they're great. I, I mean, I love them. Seven, seven inch is not a big cheese, giant cheesecake, but it's great. So, having said that, I'm making the uh, the crust now. The past couple of years, I made this. I usually get nutter butters, sandwich cookie, or a reasonable facsimile. You know, if they have a store brand, which they don't, the stores I went to, stores, um, they don't. They don't have, uh, like, a stop and shop brand of it. One year I used my daughter's, when she was still doing Scouts, Girl Scouts, um, I got a couple of boxes of the uh, peanut butter sandwich cookies. They're just like, uh, they're kind of like nut butters, you know? They're great. I only needed, like, I only needed, like, 10 or 12 of them to crush up and make the... Uh, the crust with. Now, I didn't get any of those, some nut butters, but what I did is I had some peanut butter cookies that I made from scratch, and I crushed those up. It worked, it worked great. So I, I had the, I have about, oh, maybe eight peanut butter cookies. They're good size. Here they are right here. They're good size ones. So... So what I'm going to do to that is simply add about four tablespoons of melted butter to give it the wetness. It's an unsalted butter. It's going to be like a wet sand consistency. So once I get this mixed in, I'm going to put it in the. I'm going to put it in this cake pan with the foil lining, then press it down in. I don't want the I don't want the crust to come up the side. I just want it flat along the bottom as much as I can. I'm going to press this down with the bottom of a. I have a glass uh, canning jar, and I'm going to press a small one. Where is it? Oh, right here. I'm going to press it down with this. Then I'm going to come back in about an hour or two, and I'm going to do up the cake batter recipe. It's really good. Oh, my God. I wish it was bigger, in a way. I just want to get a spoon, spread all this in. Like I said, I'm not trying to get the crust to come up to the sides. Now, when I put the foil in, I used a, I didn't use a cooking spray, but I used some, uh, I used a little bit of, not like Crisco, but a coconut oil, a coconut oil, solid coconut oil. I put some on a, I put some on a brush and I, and I uh, kind of spread it on the foil just to make it easy to release tomorrow or um, when I'm done. I put too much butter in here.
So I'm going to cover this. This is going to go in the fridge for a few hours. Then I'll come back and I'll do the cheesecake recipe, the cheesecake batter. So I'll be right back. Walk camera here. Oh, we're back. Put that in the fridge. Let it set up. And uh, we're good to go. I mean, like I said, I'll drop a, uh, I'll drop a little picture in here of what it should look like when it's all done. And uh, so come on back. I'll drop him. I'll drop the picture in now. A few inches later. I hope you like that. And uh, um, it should come out that way. It's great the way I decorate it. And uh, so, anyways, happy Easter Eve, everybody. And uh, stay tuned. Um, I will be cooking uh, Easter Sunday in the slow cooker. Um, I'm not going to tell you what I'm making. should be really good. And uh, so, thank you. I love you all. Please subscribe, and uh, I thank you all. Bye. Many unbearable hours later. Hello. Good evening. Welcome to Mike's Cooking Studio. Well, welcome back. Um, it's still sad. It's Saturday night, 1042. 1042. I'm not really cooking anything. I'm just uh, continuing with the uh, making of the peanut butter cheesecake from the first part of the video. I'm getting to the pressure cooker stage after I mix in the batter. So welcome back to all my subscribers, new ones and old ones. And shout out to all my regulars and irregulars and um, here and there, my new friend, uh, Belinda. And uh, So anyway, let's get going. Let's come down off of me. Mr. Good Looking is in the studio and yes, we are. Maybe show up sometime, be nice. Come down over me, I got, I got all my, if you can see that, that angle. I got the camera on the furthest edge, almost to the edge of the counter. Here I moved my Keurig machine out of the way. See if you can see that I got everything laid out here on the stove top, my electric hand mixer. Sorry, I don't have a kitchen aid. You know, a stand mixer. Be nice. It's like another wish item of mine. Like my Vitamix I got. Uh, oh well. QVC always has good prices on the kitchen aid and mixes. Uh, stand mixes. Be nice. I don't bake a lot, so. So here I got two blocks of cream cheese. Uh, it's it's a uh, what brand it is? It's a uh, it was on sale two for six dollars. Philadelphia, Philadelphia cream cheese. Not non-fat, nothing like that. Just regular cream cheese. Now I'm gonna cream it in this bowl with my hand mixer. Oh, it goes up to five. This hand mixer cost me. This hand mixer cost me ten dollars at a store called the Ocean State Job Lot. Yes, in Falmouth. It's five speed. I think they still sell them. I don't know what the brand is. 
Well, having said that, just let me, I got the box, I should cut the box so I can store everything in it. Five speed, uh, it doesn't even have really a brand name on it, it says five speed hand mixer. Doesn't have any other attachments. KitchenAid makes nice hand mixers. They have a, a cordless one. That'd be nice. I'm basically just uh, creaming out the cream, creaming the cream cheese so it's nice and smooth. Then I'm going to add sugar, the sugar. I have the recipe open. Now this recipe is in a, in a book that I have. There's three cheesecake recipes near the back of the book under the, where the desserts are. And uh, she's got more on her website, Meredith Lawrence. Blue Jean Chef. She's on Facebook too. You see her YouTube channel. She's got like a studio kitchen, and she's got her own. I mean, her place is gorgeous. It's all like retro. Oh. So the next thing I'm going to add is sugar. It's not that much sugar, actually. Uh, I'll tell you in a minute. It's two-thirds of a cup of sugar, which I have in this bowl. So that's going in next. Then I'm going to cream those together with the cream cheese. of having a stand mixer, I wouldn't have to stop this to scrape down the bowl. Pretty much a stand mixer, they have those flex edge beaters that pretty much does that for you. But, you know, it is what it is. Mentioned in the stand mix, you know, hint, hint, you know, my birthday's coming up in June. I do take donations. <laughs> okay, the next step I'm going to add the eggs one at a time, two eggs. eggs one at a time. You know what? I'm going to crack them into a bowl so I don't get any shells. I'm just going to beat that in. I'm not going to overbeat it. Mixed it like that. 
No lleve. Going in. Going in. My mother always let me lick the blades. She was nice enough to turn the blender off, too. <laughs> cool, the next step. I'm kind of reading this. I should remember this, but I've done it a few times. I'm going to remove a cup of the batter. Get my other cup measure occupied. Occupado. I'm gonna get this one. I'm gonna remove a cup of the batter. About a cup. I'm gonna put it in this bowl. I should have just left it in the cup, right? Okay. Remove a, one cup of the cheesecake batter and place it in a bowl. Add the creamy peanut butter. So I'm going to add the peanut butter to that. I have a third of a cup of peanut butter. So this is going in here, the, one I, the cup I took out in this bowl. So you'll have to forgive me because I'm reading as I go along. It's been over a year since I did it, so. Well, a year, a year, it's been a year. Easter Sunday. Video's still up there. It's a 50 minute video from last year. Last Easter, try to incorporate this into this batter. It's a little bit thicker now. I don't want to mix it with like an electric mixer. You end up breaking down the cream cheese. This looks like the Greek yogurt peanut butter I put in the, after I put the peanut butter in. Oh, that's so good. I'd love to do that video someday. Vanilla Greek yogurt. Oh, uh, peanut butter. Then you put some, it's almost like a Snickers bar. I saw a video on Facebook one day. It's like, went viral. 
TikTok. Oh. So I got that, the peanut butter, the batter with the peanut butter in it. Now into this wet remaining batter, I have a, roughly a cup of chopped uh, peanut butter cups. They're mini, so I had to cut them up. I'm going to fold those in. Now, get rid of this mixer out of the way. get the uh, the pie the cake crust I made the pan with the cake crust then it's gonna go in, it's gonna go in the pressure cooker I've already got here's that uh, silicone rack I told you about it goes in the bottom I'm gonna put that in there's already two cups of water in there anything you do in a pressure cooker you want to add liquid water chicken broth if you're making something you know uh, uh, what's the name? Savory, you know, if you're making savory like something, chicken, or I like to put chicken broth, naked rice, so. Uh... I got the peanut, chopped peanut butter cups in here. Now let me go get the cake pan. And then they got this in the fridge for a couple of hours, a few hours, setting. I like this cake pan because it's got the slings on it. And I also made a sling out of foil to lift the, the cake out of the pan when it's done, when it's all done decorated. Well, before I decorate it. Now, when I put it in the pressure cooker for 22 minutes, it stays in the pressure cooker. I don't let the re release the, uh, I let the pressure release naturally. So the first batter I'm pouring in, oh, I lost the recipe. <laughs> What the hell? So, I just didn't go get, plug the phone in. I didn't know the battery was so. So this cheesecake batter in the bowl, in the big bowl, I'm gonna pour this in on the bottom. This is probably with, between the two, um, with, with the two amounts of batter, it's probably gonna fill this right up. Now the crust is not that thick. I mean, I didn't have a chance to press it down really that much. It really didn't need to be. I didn't want to bring it up to size. I like it flat on the bottom, pretty much flat. Some people push the 
crushed up the side, especially like with quiches. I made a quiche one, pretty good, actually. You can make anything, you can find a recipe. I mean, I have the world, people have the world's biggest cookbook. It's the internet. That's how I refer to it. Right away. Largest cookbook in the world, the internet. Where would we be without the internet? Get all that out of there, like goodness. Okay, now I'm going to dollop this batter on top of this. Look at me so easy. This is a lot thicker. It's going to be so rich. Trying to put not push it down so much into the lower batter. Just trying to keep it on top. Okay, a little bit goes down into it. It's all going to the same place. Probably gonna melt down into it anyway. I'll come back after the pressure cooker finishes cooking. It's going to take about 10 minutes to come up to pressure. Because the water, I mean, it doesn't matter. The water is cold, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It has to build up the pressure. What? Uh, now, I don't, it's not an instant pot. I bought it from QVC. Back in 2016, 2017, it was a Today Special. It was under seventy dollars. Uh, called a cook, the brand is the house brand Cooks Essentials. That's who Marilyn Lawrence was a representative for for years. She was always on present on on TV presenting Cooks Essentials products. Then she left a few years ago, about three years ago, I guess. She still has a YouTube channel and basics videos and she teaches and she has her own line of, of uh, cookware and bakeware, electric. So there you have it, the cover's going on. Now if you don't have a 
cake pan with a cover, you can put uh, foil over it. Or some plastic wrap. I don't know if you want to put plastic wrap in the pressure cooker. So that's in. Lid's going on. Make sure it's locked in place. Pressure is in, pressure valve is in pressure mode. It doesn't have a preset for like cheesecake. I'm just gonna go. It's only high pressure. Stop. And we're off. Like a thunderous herd of turtles. So that's going to sit there until it comes up to pressure. I'm going to have to push down the lid. Sometimes it sounds like it's leaking. So there you have it going to be a peanut butter cheesecake. So I'll come back for the to show you what it looks like, um, just to show you inside what it looks like, maybe. And there's not really much to see. And like I said, after it finishes cooking the 22 minutes, I'll let the pressure re release naturally. And then it's going to sit, sit in the pressure cooker for at least an hour. And then after that, I'll take it out, blot some of the water off that might build up on top of it. No big deal. Then it'll go in the refrigerator overnight to set up overnight, and I'll decorate it tomorrow, East, Easter Sunday. Or well, why am I saying that? Because it's going to be, all uh, right, anyways. So there you have it. Return for the decoration of the Easter peanut butter cheesecake. It'll look good. It'll be good, believe me. You'll want to jump through the screen. And My son said, can you make me one of those? Last year he said, can you make me one of those and freeze it and send it to me? <laughs> so, a shout out to him too, Matthew, my son, my oldest son. I love you, buddy. I don't know if he watches my channel. So, thanks for watching. Have a good Saturday night. Bye. Hi, welcome back. It's Mike. It's Mike, as you didn't know, as if you didn't know already. It's 11:52 p.m. Um, the last time I left you, this was go the uh, cheesecake was going in the pressure cooker, 22 minutes. Uh, takes about five, 10 minutes for it to come up to pressure. Then it does a countdown. Well, it's all done, and I did a natural release instead of a quick release, and the pressure's all out of it. So. And when you when you do that, you want when it's finished cooking anything, you want to make sure you cancel out the keep warm, or it'll keep it'll be hard for the pressure to come down because it's still kind of cooking at a low temperature. So you want to cancel out the keep warm when you're doing things in the pressure cooker after the when you want the pressure to. Anyways, you just want to cancel out the keep warm, which I did. So I can take the lid safely off now. A little bit of steam, not much, and uh, I'm gonna leave. The, I'm gonna leave the cake in there for about an hour in the pressure cooker. Then put it in the fridge, let it set up overnight. Uh, I'm just gonna blot up some of this water that accumulated on top. It's not a lot. Some got under that lid that I put on top. Not much. Just blot it off with some paper towel. That's all. Here's the lid. Yeah, there's some water I got underneath. No big deal. I'll do it again when I take the cake out. Let's see. It doesn't look like much now, but what do you see tomorrow? Let's see if I can get a shot here. Overhead, there it is. That's the peanut butter cheesecake. So it's going to set in the pressure cooker for oh, about an hour or so. So, well, good thing I got my nap earlier. So I'm going to cover not much water on that. There wasn't on the lid, but not on the cake itself. I'm going to put that cover back on and put the pressure cooker cover back on. Just going to let that sit there for an hour or so. Then put it in the fridge. Let it set up, and I'll decorate it tomorrow. And we'll have a hullabaloo. Happy Easter, everybody. See you in the morning. Bye. Love you. Bye.
early the next morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Mike's Cooking Studio. I'm Mike. Mr. Good Looking is cooking here. It is Easter Sunday. Happy Easter. I hope you're having a blessed, blessed morning. Uh, it's a very nice day out, 52, uh, sunny. First time we've hit over 50. It is March 31st, like I said. Easter Sunday, 2024. Uh, it's 11.59 a.m., so it's still morning. So I had... Uh, so this is a continuation of the peanut butter cheesecake that I made, started yesterday. Um, it was set up overnight, so it's all ready to decorate. A shout out to all my subscribers, new and old. I can't mention you all by name. Um, I do, you know, the know that my regulars that I've had for long term. And a uh, shout out to Robin, my friend. Shout out to Belinda. I think you're going to like this if you watch the video. Well, i got hot fudge here everywhere, but it's okay. I had it in the microwave. So come on out for me. Uh, shout out to Roland. He's back from Arizona. Nice to see you back. There we go. We got the, uh, we got the cheese up. Oh. Can't see that, huh? We got the cheesecake here in the seven-inch cake pan, and I blotted all the water that might have built up on top from the water in the pressure cooker. As you know, we did this in the pressure cooker. A little bit more glisten in there, so I made this sling to get it out of the pan easier. And it should come right out with a little bit of coaxing. It's nice and firm now, like it's set up overnight the way I like. There's some residuals. Left in the pan. Now I'm going to take this foil off. This usually goes really easy if I lift up. Remember from the first part of the video, I put a little coconut oil on the foil as it was in the pan. I could have sprayed it. I had some coconut oil spray. Now, one thing I can do to clean up those jagged edges is run like a hot, you know, like a hot, like a hot, like with some hot water, the knife around the edges just to smooth it out. It's not that bad. Just to make it look, you know. So the crust doesn't come up the sides, it's just all along the bottom. So now we're going to decorate the top. This is what pushes it over the top. Um, so like I said, I had the hot fudge. I guess you could just use some chocolate, Hershey's chocolate. The hot fudge is better. I like. There, yeah. uh, nice and I look at how it when I get it to drizzle down over the side a little. Oh, 
One more spoonful, just to get it to drizzle down over the sides a little. I say one more spoonful. I meant it. One for me. Now this is, now this is the rest of my peanut butter cups. They're the mini peanut butter cups and I cut them up. I kind of chunked them up in four, like quarters. I wish I had a few more, but remember I put some in the other, I put some in half of the cheesecake batter that the recipe calls for. I get plenty, there's going to be plenty. I put like a cup's worth in the, uh, in the, in the, in the, in the batter, the cheesecake batter. I probably could have done like a half a cup. Oh, that's fine. I think last year I went a little overboard with the chopped uh, Reese's. Now, there are many. You could use just Reese's, like regular size. Like, you could even use like Reese's egg, the eggs, you know, for Easter, peanut butter eggs, peanut butter cup eggs, just chop them up. So oh, that looks nice. Then my finishing touch is going to be, I'll show you in a moment. I'll have to get it. Happy Easter. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. I want to take a thumbnail of that for a thumbnail shot. So, there you have it, my peanut butter cheesecake. As you all know, I have this uh, lidded. This, uh, this is the insert for this, um, it's a lock and lock from QVC. I got it about a year ago. It's great, I love it. It's black. It came with a lid with a handle, carrying handle. It's great, you can carry pies, cakes, I mean, Pies, cake, you can put anything in here. Like, you want to put snacks, like, like maybe, uh, maybe nachos and cheese, cheese, anything. Cheese, put a whole, whole thing of cheese in here. You know, chopped up cheese, meats. You know, anything. And then it has the slings, the handles to drop that in. 
I used to use a bowl, like inverted, uh, you know, like the lid. I put it on the lid to put it up, keep it upside down, and the and the bowl was the lid. I like this. Then this goes right on. It takes up a lot of room in the fridge this way, so and it's a pretty small cheesecake. So there you have that. I like this. One of my favorite lock and lock pieces. Of course, when I put the lid on, it knocked the bunny over in the middle. It's not a 3D bunny. It's only one-sided, so that's okay. Christmas time, I did a... When I did one at Christmas time, I put a little Santa in the middle. So, there you have it. My Easter peanut butter cheesecake. It's going to be... It's so rich. Oh. So, thanks for watching. Happy Easter, and I love you all, and stay tuned because I'll be doing a, uh, a uh, Easter uh, dinner in my slow cooker. I'm not going to say what it is. So, come on back, and uh, bye. Thanks to my 330 subscribers right now. I haven't checked today to see how many I have, but thank you. Bye. Shout out to my cousin Mark. Thanks. I sent you that info. Thank you. Sidewind is shed. And uh, make sure you subscribe to his channel. He's, he's way surpassed me for subscribers. But. Bye.